You are no doubt used to referencing cells by their cell addresses, the name Excel gives them based on their column letter and their row number. But you can also give them more meaningful names. This process involves the use of the name box, found to the far left of the formula bar. This is where you see the address of the cell you're in at the time, as shown here. I'm in cell D6, and you see that address in the name box. Note that when you've selected a range of cells, the name box momentarily displays the number of columns and rows, such as 6R times 2C, for six rows and two columns, but then it displays the first cell in the range. So if I drag through cells B4 through F15, it briefly displays 12R times 5C, but then as soon as I release the mouse, it displays B4, the first cell in the range. Let's look at how we can name a cell. I'm going to select cell C6, which contains the U.S. Sales Division's total sales for 2021. To name it, I just select the C6 showing in the name box and type the new name, U.S. underscore sales underscore 2021. I've used underscores to prevent spacing. You can't have spaces in cell names. I can repeat this in cells C7 and C8 for the European sales and the Asian sales, naming each one as follows. European underscore sales underscore 2021 in cell C7 and Asian underscore sales underscore 2021 in cell C8. Now, to use these names as I calculate the percentage each division's sales represent of the total sales, as soon as I type, for example, U.S., Excel offers up the named ranges starting with those letters. I can then double-click the one I want from the list, and it's inserted in the formula. Because I already named cell C9, Global Sales 2021, now my formula is equals U.S. Sales 2021 divided by Global Sales 2021. This is a much clearer formula for someone unfamiliar with my data, or if the formula was on a worksheet separate from the cells that are used in the formula. To name a range of cells, select the range and then either right-click and choose Define Name or go to the Formulas tab and choose to find name there. In the resulting dialog box, type the name you want to use, often replacing it with what Excel has guessed based on the adjacent cell's content, and then click OK. To demonstrate, I've selected cells C6 through C8, and I'm calling the range US underscore Europe underscore Asia underscore sales underscore 2021. Named ranges can be used in formulas and functions too, the same way named cells can. As you begin typing your formula, instead of dragging through the range, just begin typing the name of it, and choose the one you want from the selection offered in the pop-up. To show you this in action, I'll redo the sum in cell C9 and use the range name rather than dragging through the cells. Of course, this means it's important to name your cells and ranges in a meaningful way so that you can recognize and choose them easily as you put them to use in formulas and functions. If you want to edit or delete any named cell or range, just select Name Manager from the Formulas tab, and then choose the name you want to edit or remove. You can then use the appropriately named buttons in the dialog box to complete your task.